everybody. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Sorry we missed you on Monday, but, but there's always a but. I had a migraine Monday and Tuesday. It's just starting to let go good now, which worked out because I had a doctor's appointment today and I wouldn't have been able to drive if it hadn't. But that made us miss Monday and it's a wonder I'm doing it at all today too. I would have forgotten about it entirely, but I have to wait for my prescriptions and it just made me think of it. Right, Benny? Or something. Or something. So, let's see. Oh, last week I meant to tell you all about my new speakers. I went over to the Walmart to get new external speakers for my computer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I thought I was getting a little set, felt like that. You know, normal little speaker set. They're like this. Mm. They're huge. I can't even get, I can barely get one of them on the shelf where both of them are supposed to go. So now they're on two shelves. It's, they're huge. That was an error. I have regrets. They play well and they sound nice, but uh, this has been much. Still though, what are you gonna do? They were only 20 bucks and they work well, so I'll just make them work. Right then? She better. I got some new choice. And my new slippers that I talked about on Friday, I think it was, yeah, they have these little pom-poms. They're real hard little balls with fur all over them. So I called Ben in and I said, Benny, hold my pom-poms. And he takes a hold of my pom-poms and he's holding them like this because I made them. And I said, you know what, Ben, my shoes have testicles. <laughs> His face, would it be? His face was priceless. Uh, he started laughing his butt off. I was laughing like crazy. It was really funny. I don't recommend doing that to your son, but there you have it. It was pretty chucklicious. What else is going on, dude? Mm, not much. Not much, Doc? I discovered the joys of old horror films on YouTube. So all weekend long, I watch scary movies. It's kind of nice. All those films that I didn't rent at the video store when I was a young woman are now free on YouTube. So I can finally watch all those movies I missed. Because I was one of those people who wanted to see all the movies. So it's pretty cool. Very few that I've looked up have not been there. So yay me. Only thing is I'm out of popcorn and I didn't buy any. Wanna cut the video short and go buy some? No, I don't. Just as well. I've got pretzels. But what do you do when you run out? I have another bag, remember? What do you do when you run out of them all? Buy some different. I still have celery and cheese too. So I think I'm okay for crunchy snacks. Unless you know something I don't. Mm. Mom's waiting on us to come home and make pork chops for dinner. <sighs> Just talking about it makes me tired. You know, there's a real hangover effect with these migraines really do have a recovery period. It's not just, oh wow, my migraine's gone, everything's hunky dory. I know some people are like that, they actually feel good after one, but that is not my experience, so. I feel really tired and drained and discombobulated, it's just no fun. Zoo would be, if they still made it, they would, she would still need a can of hangover really for these things. It is. I call it a hangover. Yeah. That is just what it's like. I never thought this would make sense, but my brain, my head, actually feels sore. Which, how 
is that even possible? I don't get it. There you have it. That's how it feels. Sorry, I don't mean to keep harping on my problems, but it, I'm just grateful that it only lasted two days. That's a step in the right direction. Um, it beats the hell out of five or six days. Or seven. The last one with the handover lasted nine. So yeah, this is much, much better, a big improvement, but it's still unpleasant. And Wolfie doesn't like it when I'm sick either, does he? Hell no. He's joined at my hip right about now. He's like, Mommy's up again. Ah. It's in my lap and down my throat and everything else. If he was any closer to me, he'd be inside my clothes. <laughs> He's a stinky butt dog. He's a spoiled little lummox. He's my spoiled little lummox. See, even mom agrees he's a lummox. He's a good lummox. Anywho, I didn't want to do a big long video today. I just wanted to check in and let you know that we're still alive. Just, I was too sick to do anything Monday. I should be back Friday because I want, seem to be on the men. Knock wood. And hopefully, you know, things will just be better. I'll feel better and be able to think well enough to talk. Mm -hmm. Who knows, right, Ben? Or something. Or something. Did we go to that yard sale last weekend? Um, if you. Yes, we did, because that was a funny story. I'll tell you that before I let you go. We went to a yard sale, and they were closed. And I was like, is this the right address? So I turned around and went back by to make sure I went to the right place. And she was raising up her garage door, and she had all kinds of tables and stuff set in there, all set up for a yard sale. So we pulled into her driveway, and I said, um, are you having your yard sale today? Because it was way past the time she was supposed to open. And she said, well, it rained this morning, so I canceled it. Now I'm sorry. And I said, well, that's okay. And she said, is there anything you needed? And I said, no, don't worry about it. And then from the back seat, Chris sticks his head up because a toaster. So sure enough, she had a nice big four slice toaster. And now we have a toaster. Mm -hmm. So that worked out. It pays to ask, I guess you could say. I'm gonna watch and see if she does it again this weekend. Because it looked like a good sale, but we yep. just didn't get out and go look, even though she would have let us. <sighs> Quit that, you. I think that's really all that went on this whole weekend, didn't it? Watching movies, hanging out, we made pizza one night. Vegging out, all that sorts of things. Nothing entertaining, honest. We boring. We're predictable is our problem. We need to do something unpredictable. You know, it was so much easier last summer because there were more things going on. You could go and you could chase down the Wayne Mobile or, you know, find race cars along the road and take your picture with them or whatever it happened to be. But nobody's doing anything this summer because of the pandemic. So there's less for us to have an adventure with, isn't there? Mm-hmm. We miss our adventure. I hope it's back to normal next summer. Yeah, because one thing I think we should have before we, you know, before this channel eventually dies, is guess what? What? Videographic evidence of I... these people, these boring people going to an amusement park. We'll see. We couldn't do that even if we wanted to. Goodness. Yeah, right now we're just holding out hope that this pandemic is over with. The rest of the world seems to be handling it well, but not America. It's actually over in China. It's ridiculous. All because of the idiots trying to thin out the gene pool here by just not wearing things properly. I don't even want to go there because I'll get started and be pissed off again. Yeah, let's just 
You know, let's just nip that in the bud, why don't we? I will say one thing. I have been on an unfriending jack because people are making inappropriate sexual comments about Miss Harris and Mrs. Harris, whatever you want to call her, Mrs. Harris. And I'm just not putting up with that kind of content. I'm not going to read those words. I'm not going to have anything to do with those people. You know, I don't know why they're hating on her in the first place, but they don't need to be calling her and accusing her and saying some of the things about her that they're saying, because that's uncalled for. So, yeah, I've been unfriending, and I'm perfectly happy about it, and I won't miss any of them. So, what's my time looking like, Ben? Almost 11 minutes. Well, this video actually took more time than I expected, didn't it? Yeah, whatever happened to this was going to be short. I kept thinking a little last minute things. Pretty good considering my bang brain still feels fried. <laughs> Stop me. I was turning that little... I was turning that little leak off. Well, I reckon I'll let you go for real this time. And thank you for coming with us. And hopefully you'll come back on Friday. In the meantime, have a good couple days and stay safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.